Hello and welcome back to the series of tutorials presented by Neometrics Technologies. We will continue to explore and practice some of the design capabilities of Geomagic Design X. In this fourth exercise, we will be solid modeling a turbine blade with the main objectives to be um, using mesh sketch, um, extrude, and loft functions. So let's go ahead and start by importing our um, mesh STL file. And we're going to um, start by segmenting the turbine blade into regions using auto segment with a sensitivity of 20. Um, mesh roughness is about a third. And go ahead and click accept. Okay, so now that we have that, we can go ahead and um, insert a couple planes in order to carry out our alignment. So we'll go up and choose our reference plane. Um, for this one, I'm going to use um, average, and I'm just going to select um, this plane up here at the top and this one over to, this plane to the side and um, the other opposing side as well. So it's going to create a plane just directly down the center um, of the turbine blade and we'll go ahead and click accept and I'll do the same thing for the other side as well. So using average, go ahead and select this front side and this back side as well. Okay, so now we have our second plane, go ahead and click OK. We have our two planes and we go up to the alignment tab and choose interactive alignment for this as well. Um, Blade is going to be a moving entity. We're going to pre-align with global coordinate, coordinates and let's go to the next stage. So our first plane is going to be the first plane that we created. Our vector will be our um, second plane that we created and we're just going to go ahead and click OK. And it's just going to automatically choose um, the last point to align as well. So it looks like everything's pretty good. We can go ahead and get rid of these two planes. And clicking OK. OK, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is create this bottom section. Um, the way that we'll do that is doing a mesh sketch on um, the front plane. So we'll go over to the sketch tab, um, drop down and select mesh sketch, select the front plane and our mesh sketch setup. And there's a notch in the turbine blade right here that we don't want to um, have um, to begin with. So we're just going to go ahead and grab this, this um, arrow and drag it past where that notch um, ends. Um, so that won't be included as part of our, our, um, our polyline. Let's go ahead and turn off the mesh for now. Um, so you can use any method of creating um, this, this bottom se section. I'm going to start by doing um, a, uh, a center point arc. So I'm just going to choose cut so I'm just going to go ahead and choose a um, three point arc to do this I'm going to choose um, to be over here this side over here and then just kind of pull it to where I need it and clicking OK uh, I'm just going to go ahead and fix that so I can drag the ends of it to be a little bit longer So it does fix um, the radius um, of the arc, but it doesn't fix the ends of it. So you can drag those. It's always a really good tool to use um, fix when you're trying to drag um, some lines. So I'm going to go ahead and create a center line, and then I'm going to mirror some of the, the features across that center line. So I'll go ahead and create that right there. I believe that should be pretty much even between the two sides. Um, and if it's not, you can always fiddle with it a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and create a line down here at the bottom and a line over here. And we're going to create one more line right there and go ahead and click escape. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just put in a few more arcs um, to fill out the rest of this section right here. So for this one, I'm going to actually use um, three point arc. So I'll select the one end right here. The other end just about there and then just drag and bring it over same thing for this side and drag it over 
Um, and one more. Okay, looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and um, click OK for that. It would be wise to go ahead and check the tangency um, constraints on these. So I would go ahead and just choose those to be tangent. So clicking on one arc, holding down the shift key and double clicking on the second arc brings up this window. I'll just keep choosing tangency. Okay, and one more. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of adjust this to better fit the polyline. Okay, and I'm going to fix this line right here so I can just take the end of it and drag it over so that it's definitely intersecting that mark at the top. So now that everything looks like it's joining, um, we'll go ahead and trim off what we no longer need. So I'll go ahead and trim off this section, this section, this section, and go ahead and trim off all of that section actually as well. So clicking OK, we're going to go ahead and mirror that about the symmetry line. And I'm going to select um, these entities to mirror over that line. And it looks like it follows the polyline pretty well, so I'll go ahead and click Exit. And we're going to go ahead and extrude that, um, that sketch um, out to the edges that we uh, used earlier for um, creating that plane. So I'll go ahead and click Extrude. And I'm going to choose the method to be up to region. I'm going to do um, mean distance position for this because it's kind of sloped. So I'll choose it for that and do the same in the opposite direction as well. Um, up to region, mean distance position up into that region. Click OK. And so we have that. Um, the next step um, we're going to want to do is to use our loft function. In order to use the loft function, we have to create um, sketches um, on several different planes. I'm just going to go ahead and hide a few of these planes that we're not going to need right now. And we'll go ahead and create a couple more. Um, we're going to create three. One just below the top um, of this uh, the blade here, one just above the fillet, and then one kind of in the middle. Um, so we'll just go ahead and do offset as a method. Choose that right plane that we created and then just drag and set it right kind of over that fillet. Clicking accept, do the same thing for the center. Gonna choose that and then clicking and dragging that arrow to about halfway. Click accept and I want one more um, and that's going to be just below the tip um, of that blade. Okay, so now we have all three of those and let's begin our sketching. I'm going to start on the plane at the at the very bottom at the base um, just above the fillet so i'll go ahead and choose mesh sketch come over and select that plane and go ahead and click accept so it's going to create that turn off the mesh and for this i'm going to create two circles at the end and then a spline down to the center so just a circle double clicking and this one's kind of rough so it might not take it completely. Um, so we'll just go ahead and fix that on our own. to roughly the size that we need it to be. Okay, looks good. Let's go ahead and add in our spline. We want the number of interpolation points to be 10. And um, we're not going to kind of mess with anything else. So just go ahead and start clicking on our splines and double clicking on the last line to finish it. Same thing over here, um, clicking our, our, our polylines to create those splines, and we're just going to double click on the last one to finish that. So clicking accept, um, we can go ahead and fix these circles so that it will not change the diameter of them. And then we can go ahead and make sure that our splines are actually on the circles, and then we can go ahead and make a tangency constraint like we did before. Okay, so uh, clicking on this circle, holding down the shift key and double clicking on this line, we'll go ahead and make that tangent. Same for this one. T 
tangent. Okay. Tangent. And then one last one. Tangent. Okay. And we can just go ahead and drag these these lines to better fit the better fit um, the polyline. Okay, looks good. And we'll trim away the inside of the circle since we no longer need those. And clicking accept, we'll go ahead and exit. Um, now I'll just go ahead and do the same step for the two other planes that we created. Okay, so now that we have our three sketches um, on our three planes, we're going to go ahead and create a loft. Uh, so we'll go over to the Model um, tab and click Loft. And you're going to want to choose um, a point on each um, sketch sketch um, that is pretty close to the same area on the on the next sketch. So let's start again from the bottom. We'll choose one side of that circle um, to begin our Loft. And we will choose the same on the next and the same on the last sketch chain as well. We'll go ahead and click Accept. Let's turn that mesh back on. And that does fall just under um, where the tip of the plane is and just above where it meets uh, the bottom part that we already created. So we're going to go ahead and extend those boundaries um, using our move face um, again. And we'll just go ahead and select that, choose the direction to be the same. Let's turn our mesh on to see where it falls. And just drag that arrow to right at the top. And we'll do the same thing for the bottom as well. I'm just going to turn that off for right now so I can select it. Choose the bottom face. Choose the direction as the bottom face as well. And so let's go ahead and turn that mesh on so you can see where we're at. And we want to bring it just below um, the top of that other solid that we created earlier. So we'll take it right about there, not to where it's going past our other section. And we'll go ahead and click OK. So now that we have those two solid bodies, um, we can go ahead and um, merge them together to create one. So we'll come up here to Boolean and choose the merge. Select both of those and click OK. OK. So now that we have that, um, we can go ahead and add in a fillet on this edge down here at the bottom. And I'm going to just let the computer do the work and estimate what, it, what that radius should be. And it looks good, so we'll go ahead and click Accept. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Now um, I'll leave it right here and you can continue if you'd like um, to add in um, features such as these notches right here and cut away um, some of the sections off to the side um, as well. Uh, thank you very much.